Chrome Voice Activate. I will not apologize for being Chinese. Fuck it. We're getting head on Instagram Live. Fuck it. We're getting head on Instagram Live. Take suck. that, Zuck. Take that, Zionists and globalists. <laughs> We're going to get sucked <laughs> off on Instagram. Yeah. We're getting head on Instagram Live. On Instagram Live. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tune into our stream tomorrow at, at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. To We'll be getting head on Instagram <laughs> Live. <laughs> Looking for a volunteer <laughs> <laughs> to give us head on Instagram Live. Yeah. Not prior or post the stream, only for the stream. Yeah. Nothing weird about that <laughs> at all. It's normal and for the stream. It's it's a joke. We're looking for someone to volunteer to send us AI porn of themselves <laughs> that we can crank our hogs to privately. <laughs> yeah. Make deep fake porn of yourself giving us head so we can display <laughs> it on Instagram Live and impress all our followers. And look at us. We're getting sucked off. <laughs> look at us. We're getting head. <laughs> It was just some awful clip art looking thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a blue like alien girl. <laughs> Have you seen those guys that post like pictures of them like photoshopped with like a Pokemon? Um and they're like, This is my me and my girlfriend. I can imagine it. It happens <laughs> with, with brony guys a lot. With like an Eevee or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it ha- yeah, it's like a blue cat. And guys are like, This is me and my wife. Yeah. Which, by the way, you should probably go to jail. For being into too into Pokemon. Yeah, if we're looking at like a like a yellow raccoon and being like, wood. Yeah, I'd we, fuck that. Yeah, there's been a lot of. <laughs> I haven't really thought about Pokemon in years, because of that Pal world. Yeah, a lot of like the most annoying people online mm. are getting real bent out of shape that it's like copying Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> like, <"Well, laughs> like who fucking cares? Who gives a man? shit? Who really gives a fuck? If you're having fun, you're having fun. Like I saw, there's one guy, and I looked at his his profile, and his whole thing is he makes up fake Mon. So his whole thing is like making up shitty versions of fake Pokemon. Hey, he but should then have a job. He was getting pissed off that they didn't he, like hit him up. Well, he was like, "No, I kind of get it, but I don't think this should be allowed for Pal World to be similar to Pokemon." <clears throat> Why? <laughs> Talking about man. that's like getting be, being mad at something co- like that. You might as well be mad at Michael Vick for doing Pokemon IRL. Yeah, because he was into dog fighting. Yeah, that's you might as well get mad at like random Vietnamese but, guys who are having yeah, chicken like fights. People were like running interference for Pokemon. Yeah, but no, this is cheating. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah who gives a fuck? Although, okay, speaking of Japanese people, though. Oh yeah, I don't know why I didn't bring this up last time when we were di- giving our incredible. Incredibly deep Oscars takes. Yeah. But uh, Godzilla Minus One got nominated. Oh, hell yeah. For one, nice. for special effects. Nice. And they had a little video, and it's like, you know, all these Japanese dudes sitting around a table mm-hmm. watching, like, the announcements live, and they have their little, like, Godzilla figurines lined up also watching, <laughs> and then they get announced, and they're, like, shooting streamers in the air, <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> and over the din, you can hear one guy be like, Let's go! <laughs> 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 they stay winning. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing in, nothing matches the like joviality of Japanese excitement. Yeah. Yo, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <Let's> go. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is one of the most exciting. I'd rather on New Year's, I'd much rather be surrounded by Japanese people. Yeah. Than anyone else. Yeah. Because yeah, their excitement when Japanese people get excited is very funny. Just a bunch of Japanese salary men. <laughs> 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 you don't want to get on their bad side, though. Just ask China. Yeah, yeah. Just ask China. <laughs> just ask China. You, you think don't... they're goofy, but wait till they turn loose. You don't want to get on the <laughs> Japanese bad side. They'll draw you as a kid getting raped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They'll draw you as a child getting raped yeah. by a dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it, pal. And what's worse is they'll show their entire populace, and the whole population will go, "Nice, nice, we like that." Let's go, <laughs> let's go, dude. That's good. Yeah, I like watching 
my enemies looking like a child getting <laughs> raped by a duck. That is the Japanese version of, because here, when you want to own somebody. You post a jack. You, you you do them as a crying soy jack. Yeah. But their, their version of that is You're them as a child getting raped. By like a by, goose. By a, yeah, yeah. By like a humanoid goose. <laughs> yeah. yeah, by like a. By a goose like, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and his name is Gooseru. <laughs> <laughs> Gooseru. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like Sun Tzu said, portray your enemy as a crying soy jack. Yeah, they will have no <laughs> response. Yeah. Yeah. The I, Jap- um, yeah, and the Japanese <laughs> it's have them as a child getting raped by Gusaru. <laughs> <laughs> Gusaru who's six hundred feet tall but shrinks down to human size to rape. <laughs> he shrinks down to rape. He does raping. <laughs> <laughs> Popular <When he> children, <laughs> Japanese children's <laughs> character, Gusaru. <laughs> Shrinks when he rapes. When he does rape. Yeah, did you hear about the new Sanrio cast member, Gusaru? <laughs> He's a giant goose man who shrinks down to rape. <laughs> <laughs> Sippy cups with his face are selling off the shelves. <laughs> he gets so tiny when he rapes. <laughs> Yeah, I just imagine a Japanese guy trying to like explain that to someone. He's like, "Oh, well, you, he's a goose man, but he gets very small when he rapes." <laughs> and they're thinking it's like a language barrier. And yeah. Like, he. I'm mean, sorry. He does what? When he bakes. When he rape. When he rape. When he lapes. When he. When he. No, I don't think you have the right. When, when he rape. Well, he has a uh, sex with uh, against their will. They don't <laughs> want it, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> They don't like it. <laughs> he does. <laughs> but he gets so small, they can't stop him. He rapes. <laughs> <laughs> like a Japanese guy like excitedly explaining rape. <laughs> He's like, they don't want it, but you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> but they do it anyway. <laughs> and it's very painful. <laughs> very painful. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, pitching the like American adaptation of it. Yeah. So Gusaru, like a like a Silicon, <laughs> Silicon Valley guy with like yeah. a Botox face and like, like, <laughs> like we a, hear Gusaru's big in Japan. He's like a, like a like a salmon suit on, <laughs> pitching it to like Warner Brothers Game Studios. Gusaru <laughs> is uh he's a six hundred foot goose. <laughs> the kids in Japan love him, and then uh, he shrinks down to human size when he rapes. <laughs> he does a lot of rape. <laughs> He's constantly <laughs> raping. We're thinking this is the next Netflix's One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's by the guys who did Hello Kitty. Okay? You got kids already on board. They love Hello Kitty. Gooseru. <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole boardroom is just like... They start like... Yeah. <laughs> Slow clap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Been John Hamm in the... Uh... Madman. <laughs> it's called Gooseru. He's a giant goose who shrinks down when he rapes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Gooseru, <laughs> he rapes. <laughs> Gooseru rapes <laughs> people. And uh, what else do you need to know? And if we're getting one sh- message across here, it's Gooseru. <laughs> he, he rapes. He flips the page and it's just a big it's a goose with like an enormous <laughs> cock. And he's like, and he puts a cigarette out and takes a drink and he's like, Gooseru rapes. You might not get it, but your kids are going to love it. Your kids are going to go nuts for Gooseru. And then the the uh, Sterling Cooper gets up and he's like, Don, you son of a bitch, you did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Don, you magnificent bastard, you did another perfect sales pitch. <laughs> Gooseru, uh, he rapes. He does rape. I think that's the line we're going with. <laughs> yeah, he's 600 feet tall, but not when he rapes. <laughs> <laughs> now you might look at a six hundred pound, six hundred foot goose and go, "He can't rape. He's too big." Yeah. <laughs> what is he going to rape? A building? <laughs> what is he going to rape? A mountain? Well, he can shrink. <laughs> Good thing he can shrink. <laughs> <laughs> this actually does seem like something that exists. I guarantee there's something like this in Japan. Yeah. Like a big goose. Like a, if it's not a goose, it's like a tiger. Yeah, and yeah, it's a, there's a creature that shrinks when it rapes. Yeah, or fucks. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean Mr. Zahn had a very uh, thoughtful response to our rape man discussion. Yes, that made a lot, that actually made a lot of sense as to why they're like that. <laughs> and that's the type of intellectual discussion you only get on the Patreon. Yeah, you only get here, boys. I don't, th- I don't think you can read the comments as a broke bastard. I don't think so. But so, yeah, you're kind of missing out. But his sort of point was that. It's like a kind of like rigid society, but sort of like once you cross the line in like one regard, yeah. it's kind of like you, you're already 
like right. out of sync. So right. it's just like, well, fuck it. There's no difference between, um, I, I don't know, jacking off occasionally versus uh, being into giant geese that shrink yeah. down and rape people. That is so funny. It's all the same. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's a horny guy. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a horny guy in Japan. So I look at, of course, I look, <laughs> of course I look at child porn. <laughs> yeah. I'm a horny guy in Japan, of course. <laughs> Have you seen those TikToks where it's like, we're sub we're sa- we're subway employees. <laughs> of course we hate when you want it on brown bread. <laughs> Have you seen those trends? No, do subway people It's not like just it's like people who do a job. The trend oh. is like we're this. Of well, course and then they say like um the waitress and male waitress community really seems to have a lot of spite for their uh customers. They hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Um which uh I mean I, it's fair. Yeah, I get that. I hate it's But I'm not gonna take shit from a male waitress, okay? Yeah, your drizzle, dude. Your job is waitress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I always call male waiters waitresses. Well, they're a male waitress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a big male waitress, dude. <laughs> I would never call a male waitress a waiter. <laughs> well, what's that? Is, that? is that just like a male waitress? <laughs> Male, oh, a waiter, what is that, your word for male waitress? <laughs> 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 yeah, I would... <laughs> <laughs> Just telling him at the end, like, you did a great job. You're one of the best male waitresses I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not tipping. Male waitress, not hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would never tip a male waitress. <laughs> get your ass on a pole, pal. <laughs> you want to well, make like... some money? Get your ass on a pole. <laughs> But you want you want to make some fucking money? Get a boot job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get some tits, dude. I'm not tipping a male waitress. <laughs> yeah, I never tip any waitress. Cause, no, because a normal waitress, get your ass on a pole, sweetheart. <laughs> and a male waitress, get your ass on an oil rig, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> no one should serve me food. <laughs> yeah. Let me. Uh, I hate the west the restaurant formula. Let me in there and let me cook. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a kitchen. You go in. Actually, no, that would suck. Yeah, why would you bother? <clears throat> I would I never. Do, I can do that at home. I guess free groceries. Yeah, I'll just go in there and steal. Yeah. Ham. Yeah. Let's steal a big ham. Man, yeah, male waitress, we need to stop respecting male baristas. Male baristas. Well, yeah. you need to not respect any barista, really. No. As a former one. I mean, honestly, you get better coffee at a gas station that has a big lukewarm pot. Oh, yeah. It's been there for three days. Yeah. Yeah. From an, and and, and uh, a dill has been just sort of flipping the burner back on when it auto turns off. Yeah, just to um, soften it up a bit. Yeah, <laughs> when the burner turns <laughs> off because it's like, it's been on for 26 hours. Yeah. He walks by and he goes, and it's back on again to stay warm. Yeah. That's where you get the good shit. Real coffee heads know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you get an authentic bodega coffee. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Living <laughs> in Canada and tr- being like, I went to the bodega the other day. <laughs> Honestly, even the fact that New Yorkers call them bodegas is pretty gay. That is gay. It's literally just a convenience store anywhere else. Yeah, it's a corner store. But you can get like a dirty fucking sandwich. Yeah, you can get it. Actually, yeah. yeah. So actually, I've yeah. heard the sandwiches are good. I like going. My favorite bodega is the Seven Eleven. You can actually get pizza there now. You can get pizza rolls. Oh, nice. They got pizza at the bodega now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick, dude. They got chicken wings at the bodega. <laughs> me and all my gay, uh, me and all my bisexual friends, we hit the bodega once in a while. We get cigarettes and, and uh, chicken t- uh, tortillas. It's actually a great life hack. Just get your meals at the bodega. The bodega. The bodega. <laughs> <laughs> I call it the brodega. <laughs> the brodega. Because <laughs> the guy there is sick. Yeah, there's a guy who works at the Seven Eleven near my place that looks a lot like King Cobra. At your local bodega, my bodega, <laughs> my personal bodega that I go to, Seven Eleven. Because in my borough, uh, <laughs> the bodega that's closest to me, it has a guy who looks like King Cobra who works there. Yeah, and I honestly, I've never been, but I kind of doubt the sandwiches are even that good. I feel like it's just an affectation they have that, like, yeah, this is the thing that only we have. Yeah, bodegas. I think I think what it is is you're just it, when you go, when you expect a corner store sandwich, it's probably like a little better than gas yeah. station sandwich. I mean, I think they have like a fucking grill and shit sometimes. It's probably fine. But yeah. we have heat lamps at our Seven Eleven bodega. We got so little rollers good. and heat lamps. Yeah, it keeps the hot dogs warm <laughs> on all sides <laughs> <laughs> for days, <laughs> forever. They don't ever expire on the roller. <laughs> yeah. On the roller actually pauses time. And guess what? You can put on as much mustard as you want. Yeah, no one will get mad at you. It was fucking nasty. The Seven Eleven, like, right in the heart of downtown. Uh, um, Like, uh, on, like, Jasper? Yeah, yeah, the one's on, like, Jasper, kind of by the Hotel McDonald. 
There's one. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. one in that little stretch there. Yeah, yeah. Just like west of it. Yeah. Which is like one of the biggest like home hobo camp outs. Yes. Around. An enormous one. And it's been a while, but like most of them, when they're like their mustard dispenser, mm-hmm. it's like a dispenser. Yeah. You know, it's like you push the thing and then the mustard comes out. But last time I went there, and maybe they've changed it now, but it was just like a bucket of exposed mustard. <laughs> <laughs> And like a spoon. <laughs> what the? <laughs> it's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, you know, there's like, there's homeless fingernails and like fentanyl in there. <laughs> yeah, like you want it contained, but it's not even like little packets or whatever. It was like a like a tub of mustard. It was like a tub of mustard <laughs> that's just like exposed to the air. Ew! It's like, what the <laughs> fuck are you guys doing? Homeless guy like shed. Like it's like there's like homeless hair in there. Like I come to the bodega expecting to get like fresh mustard. It, just it, mustard. <laughs> well, fresh ish mustard y- in a bottle. Like I want to be the first one exposing it to air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to like find a dreadlock in there. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know? like you know, there's some homeless guy who needs some cows. Oh, and he's yeah. like oh, ketchup. And there, there was a spoon in there. Yeah, a bunch of guys have eaten and it. And you're off supposed the spoon. to just like smear it on your thing. No, a bunch of guys have been just taking spoonfuls. Yeah, it's been a long time since I was there. They prob they probably changed that like since COVID. They should have never had. There's no but even like I'm not even like a big germaphobe. Yeah, but even I was like, ew, fucking gross. Well, it's man. like if I went to Subway even where there's like a counter yeah. and someone else is doing it and they had just a tub of mustard, <laughs> I'd be like, I don't want mustard actually. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, it's gonna be full of like dust. And yeah, like, it's just gross. Yeah, that's like the grossest way to store mustard. It was really nasty. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, what do you guys, do? especially that one, too. Yeah, the most homeless one. Yeah, the most homeless <laughs> bodega in town. Yeah. yeah. I, I was at the 7-Eleven off White Ave, or on, on White Ave a, a little while ago. Yeah. And uh, when I went in there, there was a, like, four foot eight Chinese guy working. Nice. On the phone with the police. Okay. And in the aisle was a homeless guy. Yeah. And uh, the guy on the phone was like, yeah, I've seen this guy before. He comes in here and he's always stealing. And the homeless guy was like, "Yo, I haven't left yet, brother. None of this stuff is stolen yet." <laughs> I was like, "That's very cool. That's good." He was like, "I have not left the premises. It is not stolen yet, actually." Yeah. Well, technically, like, yeah, it is only theft when you leave. So, like, in theory, if you just never left, you haven't stolen. Yeah, I'm actually I'm eating it in the store. <laughs> well, like, what would stop you from like? Going into a restaurant with no money, yeah. ordering food, mm-hmm. and then just waiting for days. Just refusing to leave? No, yeah. actually, I'm good on my bill. I'm okay for now. I'm just hanging out. We're, we're closing, so you gotta you got to clear out. It's like, well, I, uh, I'm actually not ready to leave. I'm still eating my bread. I'm still having fun. <laughs> You're pulling off, like, crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I paid for my meal, and I'm going to enjoy it. Like, the thing, you yeah, haven't paid yet, sir. It's like, I intend to. I will once be. Once I finish. I'm going to pay. <laughs> yeah. And then when they're like, we're closing, being like, are you kicking me out? Yeah. I, I fully intend to pay, but you're <laughs> kicking me out. <laughs> I would like yeah. to pay, but you're telling me I have to leave now. Yeah. So I guess I'm going to go. This one simple trick, male waitresses hate. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much of life you could get through by just pretending you don't understand how this, this shit goes. Like, how much... At, would that ever work? Just not hearing what they're saying and being like, I would like to leave, but you're telling me you're closing and I have to. <laughs> yeah. And I'd like to pay, but you're telling me I have to leave now, so I'm going to go. So I'll leave. If you want me to leave, I'll leave. I'll leave. Just say it again. And but I'm, I'm only paying for a meal that I get to finish. Yeah. I think you think like it's six <laughs> hours. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even finish. It's like <laughs> a rock. It's so hard. It's lasagna. Yeah. It's just cold, hard lasagna. And you're like, I couldn't even, I didn't even get the time to finish my meal and you're kicking me out. <laughs> yeah. That what the hell? Two bites out of it. Yeah. As you've just been watching pornography on your phone the <laughs> whole time. With a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Blasting it off a Bluetooth JBL uh, with a uh, Beats by Dre pill. Yeah, you're watching um, like Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> you have tasteful French softcore. Hmm. <laughs> and you have the you have a, a Beats by Dre pill with a little holster that's like a little creature with the pill in its mouth, yeah. and it's on the end of the table just blasting out. You got your laptop flipped so anyone who walks by could see it. Yeah. <laughs> You have a big ass MacBook, the iPad Pro, the huge one. <laughs> yeah, the, one of those like unfolding ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have one of those like Huawei laptops <laughs> that flips into like a 40 inch TV. Yeah. <laughs> You're just watching Flash Gordon. <laughs> Man, the, watching, like, the plot on this is wild. Watching like a uh, like black iPhone porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watching like hood hood <laughs> iPhone porn. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's where it's at. That's what. Yeah, that's what you should be doing. You should do that at City Hall. Shitty Hall. Actually, I'll send these to you. These might make good cover art. Uh, I was making some art to... Uh, uh, I have this new idea um, that I think is a good initiative for the city, which is um, we direct homeless people to City Hall mm-hmm. to hang out. Yeah. Anytime you see one, you go, hey, you know what's... Uh, give them, you don't tell them it's City Hall, but you just give them like directions to City Hall and be like, it's really warm in there. Yeah. And they, there's free bathrooms and there's food. Mm-hmm. You can just go chill, and I think like the more people we cram into City Hall, like if they're just constantly orbiting City Hall, they won't have time to issue parking tickets. I just think those people deserve more like stress in their life. Yeah, that's the big thing I like about yeah. the shooter is that like these little like worm people, these like bug people who work for the city have to be like under duress in some way. Yeah, like not harmed, but they have to be like. Uh, the, the, you, you know, like uh, they're gonna give like free therapy to all people who are working. How do I get to? Um, sorry, I'm just looking at r slash movie ideas. Oh God! I'm trying to see if there's anything good. I don't know on my phone. How do I sort by all time popular? Top. <coughs> I don't know how to sort Reddit on my phone. I thought there was possibly some funny stuff in here. Could be. But after a quick glance. Nothing. What would your thoughts and ideas be if Disney bought out a sort of origin film for Scar? Kind of like the Joker, where it's a character analysis. Oh my god! For oh, Scar from Lion King. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> hmm, that'd be oh. cool. <laughs> you so sick. And yeah. You said Joker, but it was Scar from Lion King. That's what I wish about the Lion King was that there was more lore. E- yeah. I wish there was more lore for the Lion King. Why are these the only hot? Oh. That is so gay. Damn. People need <laughs> to stop worrying about lore. Okay, let's see what the all-time. Um, <sighs> oh my God, this is so <laughs> what is it? Okay, I think this is the top all time. Okay. It can't be that, but no, I don't know. It's only got 108 up boots. <laughs> but anyway, um, a legal drama in which a group of recently deceased lawyers try to swindle their way out of hell by finding loopholes in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most Reddit movie idea I've ever heard. Holy shit. That would be so bad. (laughs) I'm so fucking tired. (laughs) I can't even imagine what that would be. That would be like Fedora the movie. (laughs) That would be... Dude, um, leave it to Reddit to make a movie that's like... It's just uh, like... um, It it, it, it boils down to like that mindset of like... um, If I can apply enough logic to anything I do in my life, it's morally fine. It would be so cinematic to watch lawyers find loopholes in the Bible. It would own <laughs> those Christians, <laughs> those hateful Christians that are always gay bashing. Yeah. It would own those people who have any degree of like hope in their lives. Mm. Oh, okay, here we have. It's NSFW. Oh, shock. Oh, Reddit is being horny? And it, okay, let's see what it says. It says, I've discovered the single greatest movie idea ever. Oh, yeah? Let's see what it is. <clears throat> oh, yeah, dude? Is it... Uh, <clears throat> hold on. <laughs> Holy fuck, they wrote a goddamn novel. Bef- Holy fuck, this is long. Okay, let's just read the first bit, see if we can Before you read it, it, this guy says he discovered the greatest movie ever. Is it um, Is it two Indian guys from different worlds who become friends through trying to bring down the British, em- the British Empire? Um... I don't know. No, it, it appears to take place in Japan. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, let's just let's just read a bit. It's fucking huge. Oh my god! Like, <clears throat> is this like the? Okay, this is just scrolling. Is there like a TLDR at the bottom? No, it's just the oh idea. My god. It's just the idea. Um, and brevity is the soul of wit, and this person has none of it. And also, um, hey pal, ever heard of an elevator pitch? Uh, yeah, this, it, this is, it's fucking huge, but okay, we'll get through. We'll read some of it just to try and get shit. the gist. This is a true, true horror story. Oh, boy. Graphic and disturbing warning. Yeah, oh, psychological horror warning. It sounds like an art horror pitch right here. It sounds like Saltburn. Sounds like yeah. Saltburn. I like well, Saltburn. We'll, we'll get to Saltburn. <clears throat> But probably you're going to have to pay for Saltburn, because this part I think will probably be free, but to get our cutting edge salt burn analysis yeah oh you're gonna have to pay for that pal the bucks. you don't get stuff like that for free <laughs> for for free you get reddit movie ideas <laughs> 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 um, yeah. 
boy. Okay. The story takes place in the winter of a rural village in Japan, 1915. Okay. Picture the isolation, the snow. Uh. The, oh, my God, Kate. What's the fucking plot, bro? <laughs> I hate, da, 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 da. Hate this guy so much. At, at dawn in mid November 1915, a brown bear appeared at the f- house of the Ikita family. The surprise encounter panicked the family horse, but the bear fled after taking only harvested corn. In those days, Sankabetsu was the new. Holy oh, fuck, what's your movie idea? Oh boy, oh boy. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom, maybe they the wrap end? it up at the, the end ending? here. How does it end? Um, okay, last paragraph. Yamamoto was familiar with Kega- Kesagaki's behavior and successfully tracked him down. Yamamoto spotted the bear resting near a Japanese oak. He approached to within 20 meters of the bear and shot at it. His first shot hit the bear's heart, and the second shot hit his head, fatally wounding the animal. Fatally wounding? That's kill instant. <sighs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hyped that up. I do not care enough. Drew. That is so good. Something gay. about a bear. A bear. Not the greatest story ever. I'm gonna Definitely call it right not. now. <clears throat> um, Definitely, if you were to put a cross section of like any form of classic literature, I'm sure this plot would be one to one something that you read in like high school English. Um. Um, okay, these are all really... Uh, I think a <coughs> lot of uh, Home Alone. There's two Home Alone ones here. Well, yeah, uh, the a- 80s movies, dude. Don't you remember how sick movies were in the 80s? The Antichrist goes through a rebellious phase and joins a church group to piss off his dad. Yeah, it sounds like really oh, cool, cool. 90s Stand Up the Movie. Yeah, maybe that could like cross over <laughs> with the lawyers finding a loophole out of hell. 90s... No, oh, cool! '90s comedy, but in a in a movie br- uh, written by a guy who loves. I think you should leave. Probably. Mm. That sucks. GI Jane Two, starring Jada Smith. Damn. <laughs> Brady's got the whole squad <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <coughs> Damn, dude, you got the whole team. You got the whole team crying from laughing, dude. Okay, racists. A tag team group of misfits team up with a racist to destroy all other racists as the racist wants to be the most racist in the world and the group wants to kill all racists. I like a movie about the most racist <laughs> man in the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a good mo- movie movie idea. The most racist <laughs> yeah. man in the world. <laughs> I do like a movie about a guy who, like you said, being like white. Uh, Catholics aren't white. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Going back to some old like H.P. Lovecraft <laughs> style. Like yeah. We need to get the Irish the hell out of this country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the most racist guy on earth. Just think of like, a super old guy when like Biden gets elected. <laughs> So you're telling me there's a goddamn Mick in office? <laughs> <laughs> we got a fucking... Wait, Mick's are Irish, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because all their last names start with Mick. Right. Yeah, yeah. A movie about the most racist man ever is cool. The whole plot he wrote is gay. Shut up. Uh, well, I think the problem with this whole thing is like... Um, and it's something we learned, too, is like... Uh, we learned a very... A long time ago. Mm-hmm. If you have an idea, you just have to write it. Don't post on Reddit. Um, yeah. And it's the same thing with like um Twitter to like to like jokes. Okay, some of these are okay, like a film franchise that starts normal but gets more ridiculous and over the top as it goes. Oh, you mean every franchise ever? Um what, 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 <laughs> what hold on. What, 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 a head injury guy just leaving a comment? That gets more crazy? That's um, how franchises go. I thought this would be a really unique idea that hasn't really been done before. I'm just spitballing here, but the first film in the series could be just a typical romantic comedy about two people falling in love. Then maybe the second movie would start with one of them being killed by criminals and the other person avenging their death. The third film could be about how the main character is now a vigilante taking down criminals, and they could go after this really powerful cartel. Then the fourth film could be about how the government contacts them, recognizing their talent. Ta- this is literally just Fast and the Fury. I was just going to say, has this guy <laughs> like, never seen Fast and that's Furious? Like, just, that's like exactly, it's... That's how it is. That's, yeah. <laughs> Any franchise that goes over three gets that. Yeah. It gets to that instantly. Man, if I was a Hollywood exec, I would be all over this shit. Yeah. No, they don't want that. They want uh, art horror. Art horror. They want good art horror. Good art horror. Good uh, hard-hitting art horror. Like Saltburn. Like Saltburn. Auteur cinema art horror. I really like Saltburn because it had some art horror elements. It was so psychological. (laughs) It's a very cerebral movie. Yeah. It was so... It took Mr. Ripley and made it cerebral and art horror. Okay, I'm going to stop looking at this, but like... 
just you're on the movie idea thing, and your movie idea is a prequel to Interstellar. <laughs> 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 wow, dude! I'm sure no one ever has thought about that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think if you just like say you want a sequel of something, it's not really like an idea you're having. Yeah, we'll go. Well, yeah, that's something about that is like a very like uh, something about that screams like I'm a Quiznos employee. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's like a very like shout out Quiznos, <laughs> friend of the show Quiznos. <laughs> Just something about that is a very like sandwich sandwich artist ass like uh, <laughs> <laughs> like opinion. Yeah. Uh, like, damn man. Man, what if they had a prequel to Interstellar? And also, like, I don't. I think Interstellar is decent, but it. Yeah. Who the fuck needs a prequel <laughs> about that? It's my com- <laughs> if it's my comfort movie, I want more lore. <laughs> yeah. Interstellar is my comfort movie. I need to. I want. I need to watch. Sorry, I need to get my proper posture for talking about these <laughs> these people. Yeah, all the way down. Interstellar is my comfort movie. I need to watch more lore about it. I need <laughs> to be living like my life is Interstellar every day. Yeah. I need to live every day like it's Interstellar Day. <laughs> when you think about it, I'm kind of like Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar. Yeah, I moderate the Interstellar and that, like, Discord. He was uh, a hot, like, like, a, like a fighter pilot who couldn't get to become an astronaut because yeah. of society. He was also Jack I'm handsome. like a, a brain genius movie ideas man. <laughs> And because of society, I'm working at Quiznos. Yeah, I'm like an artist. Um, I'm like a very like, creative person, and my friends are very are too nice to me. My friends, none of my, no one in my circle has the nuts to tell me that my ideas are fucking gay, and they all resent me. And my my presence at like social gatherings is weird. So I'm posting it on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> on Reddit, they actually loved my idea for an Interstellar prequel. I got so many upvotes. An and Interstellar cool. art horror prequel trilogy. Yeah, where where Matthew <laughs> McConaughey deals with molestation via um, fighting a huge <laughs> bug. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew McConaughey fights a big, big worm in his house that is his molestation as a kid.